Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go. I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. What's going on, everybody? My name is Sarah McCarthy, and I am super excited that you are joining me as we break down the following standard, which is MA.4.AR.2.1. The standard says determine and explain whether an equation involving any of the four operations with whole numbers is true or false. So in this case, determining means is it true or false? and explain why or how do you know whether the equation, so we need to make sure that there's an equal sign with the four different operations right there. So we have adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Whether it's true or false, and remember, just whole numbers, no fractions, no decimals, we're just focusing on whole numbers. So in action, this example, the equation 32 divided by eight equals 32 minus eight minus eight minus eight minus eight can be determined to be false. This is the determined part of the standard because the expression on the left side of the equal sign, which is four, is not equivalent to the expression on the right side of the equation or the equal sign, which is zero four is not equal to zero. So this would be the way that you can explain it, determine and explain. For our clarifications, multiplication needs to be limited to within our 12 factors of 12. So basically up to 12 times 12, which is 144. By the way, this resource that I'm marking up all over is not something that I created. It's provided by the Florida Department of Education. They release it to the public. And what I'm doing is just showing you how I take the breakdown of the standard, how I process through in order to create resources that are strategically aligned to the best standards with your taking on the best membership. This standard right here is going to help us, and that's the recalling multiplication and division facts. In fourth grade, they should be pretty snappy with those facts by now. So we're not getting tripped up and we can do more intense work with those operations. Equation. This is an example right here of an equation, like in the example, because it has an equal sign where expression is just the piece of it without really considering the equal sign. It's just the numbers and the operations are the, is the expression of the problem. Where are they coming from? In second grade, they had unknowns in adding and subtracting problems that they were trying to figure out. In third grade, we practice true and false with multiplication and division. So this time we're doing all four operations, but last year we just focused on multiplying and dividing with this skill. And then in fifth grade, we have true or false with order of operations. All four operations being involved. We're increasing the complexity of the problem in fifth grade to include those steps for the order of operations, okay? In this section, the purpose and instructional strategies section, it says that the purpose is to connect their understanding using the four operations fluently. Builds on adding and subtracting in second grade and multiplying and dividing in third grade. So we're combining second and third in the standard and getting them ready for fifth grade. Here it says, Students may use comparative relative thinking, and I put a little star right there, because students, for the common core version of this, 
students had to use comparative relative thinking saying, okay, well, this is happening on this side of the problem. And if it's true, it's got to be kind of similar to what's going on over there. And it just, this standard actually in fourth grade for Common Core was one of the most complicated, in my opinion, to teach. I had, I really struggled with it. Um, and it says that they may use it, which is great. It's kind of using their number sense to understand, um, using estimation, not necessarily needing to solve it to determine if it's true or false. That's fine. But in this standard, it's totally okay. And it's expected that students will solve out both sides of the equation. Okay. Here in the common misconceptions, it says that students might have difficulty understanding that the equal sign is a relational symbol that we're not really doing anything with it. We're just relating one side to the other. And that even though we can put the equal sign there, it can be true or false. For this task, I did write that I love this. It's a simple way to increase the thinking by providing these blanks and having students use numbers to create equations that are true or even false and then explain why. And here, here's a, what it looks like in action, this kind of problem right there with it where they solve both sides. If both sides of the equation balance each other out and they have the same value, then it is true. If they do not have the same value, then it is false. All right, I think that is it for going over the standard. It's pretty simple, true and false with all four operations. But let's see what you have access to with your membership. So here we are at the home page. We're going to enter, members enter here. Click on taking on the best. You might need to log in. Fourth grade. Algebraic reasoning is the strand that we want. And we are on this, the true false equations, 2.1. Okay, so we have one video lesson for the bronze level of this resource. If you are a bronze, silver, or gold member, you have access to this resource. It's a video lesson, and here is what the problems look like. Okay. Determine whether each equation is true or false and explain your thinking on the lines provided. For this, I would always follow it up with why. Don't just accept the answer of true. Don't just accept the answer of false, but have your students always explain why. That's the expectation of this standard. Silver members, you have these printables. Video lesson icon, so that's a video lesson. Extra practice means that it is more practice that goes along with the video lesson, but it doesn't have a video lesson. Got a couple different practice pages for you. This is the math task aligned to this standard. So kind of like that one that I was like, oh, I like this problem. I liked it so much that I placed one into the math mission here. Use the cards for each task. You can use the cards more than once. Create an equation that is true. Explain how you know it is true. So using these cards. Boom. Create an equation that is false. Explain how you know it is false. And then this is another video lesson from Math Misconception Mystery, which is right here. You just click play and I'll walk you through the whole process in the video. Students will solve the problem first, then watch as four characters solve the problem. Three are correct. One is not. Yes, those characters are just me dressed up in silly costumes. And then they fill out this detective report. Okay, that's your silver. And then for gold, for gold, you have access to the bronze and the silver, plus you have a mini assessment aligned to this standard. You can see a problem like this is very wordy, but the skill itself is not that complicated. They just need to be able to walk through the problems. You see a variety of question types, all focused on true or false and why true or false and why. By the way, this is called a show what you know. That's how it's labeled. So if you have many assessments that you use with your county and you can't use this as a mini assessment, you can use it as extra practice. You can use it as a practice test, however you want to use it. Your answer key is right there. Breaking down the best video, that is what you are watching. And if you are a gold member, you get the perk of it being right there with everything else and um, ad free. 
They are also, these videos are also available on YouTube too. You just have ads. Um, and then one of the biggest highlights for becoming a, that you, one of the main reasons why you chose to become a gold member would be because of the daily math intervention with the common core standards. Now, notice it says common core standards. These were the previous standards before we had the best standards, but um, there are a lot of skills that do trickle over for this standard that we're working on and the best standards. There is no alignment really that you could use here, but if your students are struggling with adding and subtracting, multiplication or division, you can pull problems from there. Um, and it shows you how many video lessons. So here there's eight video lessons for adding and subtracting numbers, 16 video lessons for multiplying practice. It's just a safe place for students to build their confidence muscles with these skills. Okay. All right, I think that's it. I hope that breaking down the best standard here helped to actually break it down for you. And now you know what's expected of the student. You know what resources you have that are strategically aligned and you're ready to rock and roll. Before we go, let me remind you that what you choose to do with your life every day, it really does matter. Thank you so much for stepping into this leadership position and showing your students what it looks like to step into the best version of yourself so that they can look up to you and step into the best versions of who they were born to be. After all, more is caught than taught. So they're watching you. They're watching you and you're all your awesomeness. I am so grateful that you are inviting me into your educational world. I love being able to support you and I know that you are busy, so I'm gonna let you go. But I cannot wait to see you on the next episode of Breaking Down the Best. Bye. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye.